We've got another landform to learn about. This one is called Plains, and it's also by Sheila Anderson. She wrote lots of books for us to learn from, didn't she? And a plain is, of course, another type of landform. Sometimes when we hear the word plain, it means not fancy. Like, um, it doesn't have a lot of stuff on it. Like, I would like my hamburger plain. I don't want any ketchup or mustard on it. Or get a plain piece of paper. That means a piece of paper that doesn't have anything on it yet. But this word plain means something different. So let's read and learn. What are planes? Planes are a kind of landform. And just looking at these pictures, do you think planes are going to be something tall? Are they going to be something like a V or a U shape? They look flat, don't they? They look pretty flat. Let's see. Planes are large pieces of flat land. There are different kinds of planes. This plane's full of flowers. This plane looks like there's a farm there. Planes can be near the ocean, not an airplane plane. <laughs> That's funny. There's a He's playing with a plane on the plane. <laughs> Some planes are in the desert. Deserts are often very flat. Many planes are covered by grasslands. Why do you think they call it a grassland? There's a lot of grass, isn't there? Some even have low hills. Can you see them? Not very tall, just a little hill. Animals live on plains. In this grassland, you could find lions. People raise cows there. So those are grasslands where a farm could be. Plants grow on plains. Many plains have a meadow or prairie with lots of different flowers. People grow crops there. People live on plains. They play on plains. Lots of room to play on a big flat area. There are many things to do on planes. Ooh, what are they gonna do? They're gonna fly their kites. Looks like they are playing on a plane that's near the water, maybe near the ocean. And when the land is nice and flat, the wind can just blow and blow. It's great for kites. Would you like to explore a plains? I wonder what you'd find in different kinds of plains. So at the back of this book, there's a little extra information about the Great Plains, which is an area that covers the middle part of the United States. So the author put it in red here. So here's Wisconsin, right here, that's where we live. So we're really close to the Great Plains. It's pretty flat in Wisconsin, isn't it? Wisconsin and Illinois. And it's pretty flat in the states around us, but it's quite flat in the Great Plains. It covers from Texas all the way up to the bottom central part of Canada. The Great Plains are covered by grasslands. They have rolling hills, so little hills, and patches of trees. The eastern side of the Great Plains, over here, receives more rain than the western side. Most of the Great Plains is farmland. That's where many, many of our crops are grown and many animals can be raised on those farms too. We have a lot of plains right here in the United States. If you were going to make plains with your Play-Doh, what might you do? Will you need a big pile? Will you need to dig a V or a U in it? Or would you kind of smash it out flat. Maybe add some little hills. See if you can make some planes with your Play-Doh. Maybe you'd even like to set up 
mountains and valleys and plains all at once with your Play-Doh. Give it a try.